this video, I'll be giving a new look to Rain, the energy drink for athletes, especially bodybuilders. It's meant to help burn calories, speed up metabolism, and aid in recovery due to its VCA content. But its current design isn't energizing, so I'll rebrand the can to better match what the drink does and who is it for. Looking at each can, we see they all have the same design structure, which creates a unified brand look. Good. But the design itself, it's not reflecting the product's purpose to give energy. For me, it's too plain. I miss bold colors and an eye catching design. So here I am making a voiceover because stupid me didn't check the microphone not even once. So here basically I'm saying that the can of an energy drink is its own advertising space. There is plenty of room to make a design that really stands out from the rest. But to stand out from the rest, we first need to analyze the rest. Let's take a look at Monster, probably their direct competitor. Monster does a great job designing cans with eye-catching illustrations and it goes further. It can look good on an Instagram stories post or in someone's shelf as decoration. So my vision here is to create an illustrated super muscle gladiator. Why a gladiator? Because Rank's logo is a gladiator mask with a king's crown. So for that composition, we only need a picture of a muscle man, a gladiator, and a crown. I'm done with the composition, so now we are ready to illustrate it. I know this looks bad, but I don't know how to draw from memory, so I create composition positions on Photoshop first to use as a guidance on Procreate later. For this scan, I wanted to go for a comic book style kind of illustration. And finish off by adding a crown, which I forgot to include in the composition. Let's now move on to coloring. I'm gonna redesign sour apple, so I feel going for kind of a lime green body. Could be cool. I'm gonna add a few shadows now for a more realistic look. And the background, I've changed my mind. So for now, I'm gonna add a green gradient. I think we are on the right track, so let's now bring this to Photoshop. First, I'm gonna accentuate the shadows and the lights. I'm gonna add a retro spiral background. This is how you easily do it in Photoshop. First create a gradient from black to white, then add the wave effect. Put the settings or till you get this kind of texture with lines. Now go back to effects distortion and polar coordinate. I'm gonna change the blend mode and blur those edges a little bit. I'm gonna accentuate the background a bit more with a light burst. Also, I'm gonna change the blend mode. I'm also gonna add a little bit of fog behind him to separate it from the background. And to add the last touch, I want to add a retro halftone overlay to give it a bit of more texture. I learned to do this texture thanks to Texture Labs. They have a video called Retro Halftone Effects in Photoshop. You can check it in there for a more detailed tutorial. And I feel we're good to go to the next stage, which is adding logo, flavor, and so on. I'm now going to add this into real mocap and show you the final outcome. Definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but this is good. It's the only way to grow. If you like this video, you might also want to check out this one here as well. Remember to like and subscribe for more design content. See you next time. Bye.